The other thing, Brendan, is cheating is right. just another way of being prepared. Okay. Basically, memorizing something is cheating. Right. You knew the answer before the test was given. Right. And so by taking the test and saying that you learned that stuff... It's cheating. It's cheating. You're already cheating. Wow. Yeah. I mean, I'm discovering all this, too, as I say it. Wait, hold. Shh. Here comes Melissa. She, she doesn't need to know about the, the cheating stuff. She'd freak out, okay? Just, just talk, talk about something else. All right. Brendan. What are you doing? Soccer practice is over. Get out of here. I'm waiting to be picked up, and they're late. Right. What's really going on here, Brendan, huh? You thinking about running away or something? No, I'm not going to run away. Well, let me tell you something. You should. It builds a character. Is that a fact? Yeah, I did it. Running really? away from home is great. Really? Well, the first time I ran away, Brendan, when I was eight, mm -hmm. I wanted to go work on an oil rig. That was my dream. Right. So I pointed myself in the direction of Alaska and started running. How far did you get? I got to the pizza place. Right. But I got a job there. It's not bad. Yeah. And uh, they pretty much raised me, the Greek guy who owned it. Is that true? And I came home about like five and a half years later with my new Greek dad and my Greek mom and my Greek brothers and sisters and said, this is my new family, introduced them to my old family. How'd the folks take it? We had a party. Yeah, that's a good story. All right. Anyway, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, get out of here. <sighs> Welcome to the Fat Club, Brendan. No. Yes, you and me. Fat club members. No. No. Yep. No. Nothing wrong with it. In fact, you should be proud of your size. No. And I'll tell you, the first way of dealing with your fat is admitting it. Now say it, fatso. No, you say it. All right, you're fat. And you're getting fatter. It's amazing. I love it. Okay, okay, okay. So I'm, okay, I'm fat. Big deal. Well, you know what? You passed the first step, Brendan. Now the next question you have to ask yourself is how does being fat work for me? Well? I don't know. Well, it makes you funnier. Everybody loves a fat guy. They're funny. I would have to get really fat, wouldn't I, to get really funny, right? No, no, sometimes you just have to be a little dumpy, which is what I would call you right now. I'm dumpy. Yeah, it's phase one. Okay. There's about eight phases. It starts from dumpy, then it goes to frumpy, then it goes to fat. Right. Six phases of fat. I don't know, I'm not a scientist. I'm just saying, you get fatter and fatter. That's what happens. You start <laughs> the cycle, and then you don't stop. Mm-hmm. Isn't it, like, totally unhealthy? So? All right, how about this, Brendan? Yeah. Some girls like fat guys because their fathers were fat, right? Mm. So you play on that. It's the fat father syndrome. It's the FFS. Fat father syndrome. Yeah. Girls have fat fathers, all right? Mm. So when you're fat, you remind girls of their father. Right. Done deal. Here's a piece of advice, Brendan. There's no such thing as psychology. It's all made up crap. Oh, really? Yeah. They're yeah. all con men. Oh. All of them. Even the women. Oh. Just remember that when they're telling you how screwed up you are. Okay. And uh, let me tell you something else. Astronomy is BS, too. Really? Yeah, all that star crap is ridiculous. But there are stars. Whatever, Brendan. Okay. Will you ever you ever go to a therapist? Well, yeah, sometimes you, you got to do certain things to re-enter society, all right? <sighs> I guess I've got some issues. Well, like what? I'll fix them. Well, I, I guess I'm slightly frustrated about my father remarrying, you know, this... this... Oh, that's a load of crap, Brendan. Yeah, well... I mean, come on. That's psychobabble. What? Don't fall prey to it, Brendan. Okay, what does that mean, though? So what were you saying? I was saying, uh, I guess I'm slightly frustrated about my father remarrying, you know, the oh, woman... Oh, that makes sense. The woman he's marrying, though, you know? What, what, is she ugly? No, actually, she's attractive, which really is... Really attractive? Pretty attractive, yeah. She could be on a magazine. Really? Yeah. What type of magazine? Like a dirty mag or a... Or like one of those model mags? Uh, like a model mag, you know. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So, you're jealous? Oh, no way. No, no, no. She's not my type. She's She is way too wound up. Well, so are you, Brendan. No, I'm not. Oh, yeah, you are. No. Yeah, see? What? You're defensive. Well, it's because you're accusing me. Well, you know, there's nothing wrong with being wound up, Brendan. All right. And you're, like, weak and sickly. Yeah. You're a little short, too. Whoa! Nothing whoa wrong there. with that either, Brendan. Nothing wrong with being short. You make up for it in uh, other ways. Right. Use your head, for instance. Sure, sure. Yeah, what? No, but anyway, Brendan, it's clear to me you're jealous. No way. Yeah. No. And this woman probably acts like a baby, you know, and acting like a baby's your <laughs> job, right? No. And she's stepping on your toes, and you hate her, even though really deep down you wish that she was marrying you. What? You heard me. No, no. And maybe uh, you opened your father's bedroom door, and she was just getting out of the shower. Right. And she had just a towel on. Right. You know, and that towel was riding really low. Exposing a lot of cleavage, Whoa. and she's all wet. Yeah. The skin's all fresh after then you can smell it. So calm down. She's pure clean, clean yeah. and nude and beautiful. Yeah. It's textbook stuff, Brendan. <laughs> <laughs> Look, the bottom line is you're going to be fine. You're just a kid. Right.
I used to do that, Brendan. Oh, I didn't know you played guitar, Coach. No, I didn't. I just carried one around. It's a phase I went through. It was the 70s, you know? Yeah. Kind of everybody had a prop. Right. If anybody asked me to play, I just complained that I, you know, I have tendonitis. Well, why didn't you just learn how to play? I mean, Because it's hard, Brendan. It's too hard. You know, anything too hard in life is not worth doing. Remember that. Okay. Like snowboarding or martial arts, you know? Yeah. Pottery. Right. Or um, math. Right. But my point is, Brendan, if you're not immediately good at something, why do it? Right? Right. You know what I was good at, Brendan? Drinking. I was a good roadie. Did that for a while in the early 80s. Sure. Local band. They were called Alligator Shoes. They were awesome. Yeah. They all wore alligator shoes. That was the gimmick. It's pretty cool. Yeah. We had a good run at it. Yeah. You know? You ever feel like going back there and, like, doing the roadie thing again? Every day, Brendan. Wow. Of course. That was the life. Setting up amps, plugging them in, you know? Yeah. Checking the mics. Sure. That was the life. That's... Gig after gig after gig. Must have been some ladies out there, huh? <sighs> Kidding me? Yeah. The fights? Yeah. I love the fights. Yeah. That's pretty cool stuff, man. Yeah. So you ever... The food? Food was good. Yeah. I'd have to put out the food. Sandwiches, putting out cookies. Fruit and stuff. Putting out, like, milk, checking the date. The only major conflict was we never traveled. Oh. We were a local band, so I guess he couldn't officially call me a roadie. Right. I I was more like a helper. That's a helpy. If people called me, like, oh, you roadie for alligator shoes, I'd say, yeah. Yeah, I roadie for him. You used the word roadie, but right. in reality. But there was no actual driving or going anywhere. Right. You can't write down helpy on a resume. I'll tell you something, Brendan. I think about it every day. You know, I mean, that was my youth. Right. If I had the chance, I'd do it again, you know? If somebody was putting a band together, Yeah. needed a helpy, I'd do it. Oh. Huh. You poured sugar in Pendlehurst gas tank? No, some other kids did, but we ended up getting caught. So what's the punishment? He's making us do this scared straight thing at the prison he used to work at. Scared straight? You're already straight. I'm already scared. Well, I've been to the can a few times, Brendan. That's what we call it, the can. Yeah. So when you're there, you call it the can, all right? What do you call cans in prison? You mean actual cans? Yeah. Like food? Yeah. Cans of food? Yeah. Those are still cans. Okay. Here's another thing, Brendan. You gotta be the craziest one there. Right. You act like you're insane and people will leave you alone. You mean like what, like unstable? Well, yeah, but more. Like overreact to something. Oh, yeah, like what? All right, here's an example. Come up and brush against me. Like walk by, ready? All right, how do you do? No! No, man! No, man! No! I don't think so! I don't think so! All right? All right. Is it? Yes. Is it? See what I mean? That was good. It freaks you out. I feel my heart is pounding. Yeah. And here's another thing. Make a shiv. Yeah? How do you do that? I don't know. You find stuff, you make it. You can stab someone with anything. Yeah. You wear glasses? No. You wear contacts? No. You make a knife out of contacts. Really? That's what I learned. Wow. I killed a man with contacts. In the can? Yeah. Wow. And the other thing is you can make a knife out of um, tags from t-shirts. Like the cloth tags? Yeah, because they're a little harder than the material. And that's enough to... To penetrate skin. You just got to find the right spot. Wow. You know what I'm going to do? What? I can give you a tattoo. What? That would help you. Please don't. You have a pen? Uh, are you a good artist? Well, what kind of design do you want? I don't know. I can do a moon. Hmm. I can do a smiley face. Yeah. I'm going to put one right under your eye. Three teardrops. No one will touch you. <laughs>